hello everyone welcome back in this video i'm going to show you the best base chain telegram port that is sigma telegram port tutorial so this is going to be a complete detailed tutorial on sigma board and how you can start using it so make sure you watch the video carefully until the very end first of all you just have to click on the link that i have given you in the description and then you will be redirect on the telegram page where you will have to click on open with telegram and then you are going to see this type of interface in front of you here you will have to click on this start button in the bottom and then it will first generate a wallet address for you which you can use to keep using the sigma bot as i have already created my wallet on sigma bot it is not showing me that option in the top but if you want to add more wallets into it or if you want to create more wallet into it if you want to remove it then you can access the settings for that you will have to click on the settings tab and then you need to click on wallets if you want to immediately get it then you will have to type backslash and wallets and then you are going to see the same settings in front of you with this shortcut now over here it will show you all of the wallets that you have which you can use on sigma if you want to create a new wallet then you will have to click on this create button and it will create a new wallet for you if you want to import any of the wallets then you can also do it by clicking on this import button and after providing the import private key over here then if you want to remove your wallet from here then you can click on this remove button and after selecting your wallet that will be removed from this section now once you have your wallet ready on sigma board now is the time to transfer some ethereum from any other wallet to sigma for that you just have to copy the wallet address that is given over here and after that you need to go to your trust wallet or coinbase wallet or metamask wallet and from there you just have to transfer some ethereums in this sigma board once done you will have to make sure that the chain that you are using is based on base for that you will have to come back and you will have to click on chains here if it is selected as ethereum avalanche bsc then you will have to click on base and you will have to change it to the base chain then you need to go back and here you are going to see its main menu again now we will start the sniping process for that you will have to click on the option of auto sniper then it will show you this prompt which says paste a token address below to start buying so over here in this section you need to copy the address and you need to paste the address of that particular crypto or coin that you want to snipe or buy on sigma after that you need to press enter and then it will show you this type of section in front of you now over here first of all it will show you the name of the token then it will show you the network or the chain on which it is based on as we have previously selected it as base so it is showing us the base chain then it will show you the address that we have just copied and afterwards it will show you everything relating to this particular coin for example its pool info in which we are going to see its market cap liquidity transaction fees etc so basically you are going to see all of the information relating to that particular coin so in the bottom you are going to see bunch of different buy options and bunch of different other options that you can use in order to place your order first of all you will have to select how much amount of ethereum you want to spend in order to purchase this coin over here after selecting the amount you will have to select which wallet you want so as you see i have three wallets over here but the one that has this green circle it simply means that i have selected wallet one but let's say i want to select wallet 3 so i'll simply click on wallet 3 and i'll simply click on wallet 1 in order to uncheck it and now i have selected wallet 3 for the transaction that i'm about to make over here then in the gas fees you can change the gas fees to 0.1 to 1 or 5 so you will have to select the amount that you want for that you just have to click on it and once it has this circle it simply means that that amount of gas fees you have selected then you are going to see the option of slippage so you will have to click on slippage and after that you can select your slippage amount over here i would recommend that you use up to 50 percent so you will have to type 50 over here and 
then it will show you that the slippage that you have selected is 50 percent if you want to put the limit orders let's say you don't want to purchase this particular coin right now but you want to place the order with certain conditions then you can use the limit order option for that you will have to click on limit order and then you are going to see a new tab in this section which is a market cap so let's say you want whenever the market cap of this particular coin goes below 33 percent you want to spend this much amount of ethereum in order to purchase it so in, in order to do this you will have to click on the 30 percent and after that you will have to click on the buy option let's say i want to click on this first option then it is showing me that i have insufficient fund so basically you will have to select the price and after that your market order will be placed now once you have made your positions on sigma now you want to manage your positions let's say you want to cancel any of the positions then how you can do that for that you will have to come back to this starting page again in order to do this you will have to press backslash start in order to come to the main menu then you are going to see various options like positions so you will have to click on positions and then you are going to see all of the positions that you have made on sigma board if you want to cancel any of these then you are going to see a cancel button right next to it so you can cancel it if you want to or you can manage your positions by clicking on this positions button if you want to view your pending orders then you can click on the pending orders option and it will show you all of the orders that are pending next if you want to change the board server then you can also do this in sigma for that you will have to click on this backup boards option and here you are going to see a bunch of different boards so let's say you were trading on one board and it is not working properly or the servers was down and now you want to change or switch to some other board then you can also do it on sigma for that you can just select any of the boards that is given on this list and after that you just have to click on the start button and then you are going to see all of the options over here in the right hand section you are going to see some of the upcoming features of sigma for example after some time you are going to see the copy trading on sigma board here if you want to change the language then you can click on the language button and then you can change your language if you want to so this was the complete tutorial of sigma board i would recommend to use the link that i have given you in the description so that you can start your trading journey so if the video was helpful then don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching.